What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're looking at spider 10 hard mode and we've got a team that can farm it in 14 seconds it's pretty insane um, and the team is very reliable um, i've not had any failed runs if something does go wrong though it'll take about 30 seconds rather than 14 but it's still very very quick um, so why is it so important to be able to speed farm spider it is a huge account changer it's changed my account so much um, so first off cvc is a big one if you want to rack up points in cvc being able to speed farm spider is the way to go um, you will just see the numbers just fly off the charts and um, accessories as well are amazing um you know if you get like a quad roll in speed that on a banner that just becomes a god piece um it can help you in pve and obviously pvp and like seriously if like you can get a quad roll on a banner for arbiter that is just going to make her from like here to here and she is just going to be like full god mode so that's definitely one big point also rings like if you can get like an attack ring and you get like a quad roll in attack percentage your nukas are just going to hit on another level so yeah accessories are great for the game and they will do so much for you um another thing as well is if you need silver spider's your man silver is the best no spider is the best place to get silver in the game for sure um so yeah so many good reasons to farm it um but yeah, so let's check out the team that we're running. So we've got Calvalax, Ignatius, Sissia, Coldheart, and Artak. Uh, let's just do the first run in slow-mo. I'll break it down for you. So Calvalax is going to throw out his poisons. Um, Coldheart will come in with Heartseeker. Um, then we've got Ignatius dropping HP burns. Artak is then going to go next, which is a little bit weird because when we look at the speeds, you'll see that he's actually slower than Sissia, but for some reason he goes first. So it must be something to do with like the true speeds. Um, yeah, so Artek goes next. Then Sissia comes in with HP burn activate as well. Uh, drop defense and weaken. And then Calvalax is going to act, well, do uh, enemy max HP damage to the Spiderlings and the boss and just finish it all off. Um, so we can see that's still 19 seconds in uh, one speed. So you can see still really, really fast. Um, but yeah, Ignatius is getting all the credit, um, but it's Artak and Sissia because they're activating the burns. Ignatius, it looks like he's doing all the work, but he's not. It's the other ones. And then Calvalax is doing a little bit of work as well, doing that two mil damage and just finishing off the boss. So let's just do a few more runs and just watch it in all its glory in max speed. But you can see it's just super quick. Um, there are, I think, some teams that can do it faster than this in 10 seconds, but I just don't have the champions to do it. Um, also, this team is very gear intensive. You need to be above 240 speed for every single champion. So the Spider boss runs at 240. Um, I'd say just for safety reasons, run the slowest champion at 245. Um, but yeah, it's all about the speeds. And I did cheat to get the speeds for this to work as well. So I'll show you how I did that as well. Um, so literally all we did is we used the great hall i feel like a lot of people are neglecting this and it's really important to use the great hall um you know this is going to save you glyphs and it is you know you don't want to put all of your best gear on these champions you know i've just put on some of my mediocre gear um so this has just helped me save glyphs and my best gear so we chucked a few points in speed and a little bit in accuracy because i was a little bit low on one of the champions to meet the threshold so make sure you do use your great hall it is a great resource um don't neglect it but yeah obviously hydra is an important one to prioritize and the demon lord if you can't one key it yet so let's just come back and just look at the team setup so cold hearts coming first and she's at 259 speed and she's going to open up with heart seeker then we've got Ignatius at 254 speed, and he's going to open up with the A3. Then Artak, who's at 250, but goes before Sissia for some reason, um, he's going to open up with the A2. Then we've got Sissia coming in at 251. Ideally, maybe I do need to make her one speed faster, so she goes before Artak. Um, I think that would stop me getting those runs that run at 30. Uh, but yeah, she opens up with the A2. And then Calvalox, uh, Calvalox? Calvalax finishing off at 249 speed and he's going to open up with the a3 doing that enemy max hp damage 
So we've looked at the runs, let's look at the gear and masteries. So first up, we've got Cold Heart in double speed and perception. We'll just sort of look through the gear. I won't go through it in great detail, um, but she doesn't need accuracy for this boss. Literally all we care about is speed. So I've literally just put a banner on her that has triple roll in speed so we can reach that speed. And we're just gonna put on Spider so you can see the total stats. Um, yes, yeah, so the only thing that matters for this is the speed, and we need to have at least 70% crit rate. Um, Heartseeker has 30% crit rate built into it, so that way we reach 100. And actually, doesn't matter because you cannot manipulate the turn meter of Spider on hard mode. And to be honest, you know, the masteries really don't matter. The only thing that we do care about is taking that flawless execution for that extra 20 crit damage. Also, actually, the other stat that does matter is crit damage so you want it to be at least above 230 to make sure we get that 10 percent hit on the boss so next is ignatius and he's a garbage champion i genuinely he's just useless um I th i'll show you the reason why i dislike him so much so his a3 is on a five turn cooldown the only thing that's good about him though is his hp burn cannot be resisted and that's why we use him in this team comp um the only other champion i think that's got this is dreg um, but Dreng, you know, you can use him in Sand Devil and other content, and he's a great champion. So I wouldn't really want to restrict him just to Spider. That's why I'm using Ignatius. And literally, I, I couldn't think of anywhere you could actually use Ignatius besides this. Um, also, like, his A2 is on a four-turn cooldown when fully booked. And it's only, like, a 75% chance of landing the Provoke. Yeah, he's just not a very good champion, especially for a Legendary. So let's quickly look at his gear and masteries again. So again, just perception and speed. Uh, gloves, we've got defense. He is a defense champion. So that's why you want to sort of stack on him. But it doesn't really matter for this boss. Again, it's just all about reaching those speeds. Um, and he does need, ac well, no, he actually doesn't need accuracy to learn his HP burns. But if you want him to land his Provoke or Stun, you obviously you do need to have accuracy. But literally for this, is all about speed. That's all that matters for this. Uh, Masteries, I've not done them on him because he is such a garbage champion. And I wouldn't waste any Masteries on him. Don't, don't waste your energy. Um, so next on the list, we've got uh, Sissia. Um, so she's in triple perception. Uh, we've got crit rate on the gloves just so she can do a bit more damage for other content like Hydra. Uh, HP on the chest for survivability, speed on the boots to make a nice and fast. So total stats, or the stats that only matter. Um, for, for this again, it's just about the speed and the accuracy. Nothing else matters. But it's nice to get HP on her. It's nice to get defense, and it's nice to get crit rate on her just for Hydra because she is an absolute beast for that content. So definitely worth investing in. Um, not for this, but again for Hydra, Brimstone is an amazing blessing to stick on her because she has AoE abilities on A3 and A2. Uh, these masteries are just insane for her. Um, again, not for Spider, but for other content. Um, so it's all about manipulating her turn meter, and Oppressor is just amazing on her. And also Psycho Revenge, so her turn meter is just constantly going to be boosting and you can just bust out so much damage on Hydra. So definitely worth doing. So then we've got Artac in Double Perception and Immortal. Again, crit rate on the gloves just to help with damage. And just quickly flick through all of his gear. So again, Masteries, um, if you can use him for like Hydra and other content, um, lots of HP, lots of defense. Speed is great. Trying to, being crit capped as well is going to really help with his damage. And 150 I mean, if you get like 200 or 250, if you've got the gear, he's going to absolutely smack. Um, but for this, you know, 150 crit damage is more than enough. And he does need accuracy as well to land those HP burns and to do that HP activation. Uh, we want him to be fully booked. Uh, the reason I took Soul Reap is originally I had him actually going last in the turn order. And he couldn't quite finish off the spider. So I put on Soul Reap to help with that. If he was five star... Um, then yeah, he'd be able to actually finish off the spider for this. Um, but I actually prefer it the other way, so it's fine. And these are just very standard masteries for him. I do need to finish them off. Uh, last one I take is Master Hexa, just to increase those HP burns and that uh, decrease attack that he brings as well. And last but not least, we've got Cavalax. 
all the way down here. So he's in Savage, and I think you do have to have him in Savage for this to work, so he does enough damage. And then we've got Perception as well to help with that speed and to help with that accuracy. So we've got crit damage on the gloves. Um, we've got a triple speed roll on the chest piece, and you need that attack percentage as well. That's really going to help. Um, speed on the boots as well. I mean, he's got some really nice gear on him. Um, this is a pretty terrible ring. Ideally, you know, that's what I need to speed for. I need to uh, farm spider so I can get some better gear on him. But yeah, definitely would like that to be a double or triple roll just so he can do some more damage. Uh, attack on, uh, sorry, crit damage on the amulet. And we want substats of uh, accuracy on it. And then a nice double roll into speed on an accuracy banner. So total stats or the stats that matter are again attack. He's attack based champion. This is going to help with his damage. Need him to be really nice and fast, 249. He needs him to be crit capped and 224. I'd like that to be a bit higher. So I might actually um, drop some more points into crit damage on Spider, just helping to get him above 230. And again, 363 accuracy is more than enough to land those debuffs. Uh, but yeah, that's all going to help. Uh, one thing is he doesn't need to be fully booked. However, I am thinking about maybe putting some books into him just for other content. There is um, like a tournament that comes up where you can only use uh, champions for Night Rev. So this might actually help me with that, especially for like Dragon. Um, so yeah, I am maybe going to put books into him just to do some more damage because to be honest, without the books, um, outside of his A3, he doesn't really hit that hard. So it might help quite a bit. Um, these, again, are just very, very standard masteries. Um, and we just want War Masters just to do more damage on the boss. But outside of that, you know, I don't think his masteries matter too much. And again, this is just like really sort of standard stuff. Anyway, that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in a video soon. Peace.